Oh, how good is this going to be? Looking forward to this conversation this evening. None other than the great uh, Joe Hildebrand, who's kind of dressed up for us this I evening. I thought I'd throw a jacket on, Look you know. You. Being Tuesday night, you know, a little bit earlier in the week. Fancy, man. Yeah, I All thought right. I'd just, you know, well, we still, we still put the dress effort someone's in. Someone's got to keep it classy around here, <laughs> yeah, you know. Towards the end of the week. And Michael Kroger as well. Lovely to see you, uh, my friend. All right, so let's start good first to with see you, you Michael. Um, about and, and look, you know, I can see Media Watch now, right? Oh, three white people talking about a treaty with Indigenous people. How dare they? But it's about the concepts, right, that we all understand what our histories are. We all uh, will have some varying views on how they need to be dealt with or not with at all. But all of us also are sort of of a generation that believes in equality. So the concept of one Australian paying tax and one not because of race seems to be a dangerous place to go, but the Victorian Premier seems to be OK with the idea, Michael. It seems to be. But, look, what's happening in the country is this. Um, there is an Aboriginal industry made up of activists who have largely got government jobs, uh, that love going to conferences in Canberra, that love talking about the politics of grievance, our history, etc., etc. Uh, that train slowed very much at the time of The Voice, where Australians said, stop trying to divide our country on the basis of race, stop the politics of grievance and history, get into the real world and do something about fixing the problems in the Ad Aboriginal community, the real problems such as Alice Springs. Now we have this meeting on the weekend uh, where they want to divide Australia again on the basis of race, that on, on the basis of your race, you don't pay land tax. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. You get free loans. From whom? What, are Westpac meant to give out a free loan, uh, uh, are they? What about their shareholders? What about their uh, profitability? Is the government going to provide free loans? Um, what about other disadvantaged Australians who can't afford to buy houses? What about free university study? What, what about kids coming from overseas or disadvantaged people from rural Australia? Do they get free... Uh, university education, no hex debt, etc. I mean, this list is 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 quite improper. The government has to start saying no, as the Australian public said no to this country being divided forever on the basis of race. You need governments of courage, which was why I, I pay tribute to uh, Dutton and mm. Little Proud and that legendary woman Jacinta Price and. Warren Mundine had the guts to fight against this racism and say no. Again, you know, I, I keep talking about this Gen X idea, right, mm. about people in their 40s and 50s, right? Uh, again, the great achievement was uh, to not see division. Not, right? not see division based on race. But That's now right, we yeah. have this scenario of a, a collection of people across multiple ages wanting to to reinsert it, but to change, frankly, the the, the power balance of it. As and again, let's not, we're not going to relitigate the voice, right? But yeah. <laughs> One of the things that people who were passionate about it said, well, it's not kind of about this stuff. Well, we're now left with this stuff, right? We're left with somebody yeah. saying that we should change the makeup of a local council. We should... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what happens at Melbourne Airport about what's being suggested. It's, it's, just, it's just an absolute grab bag of thought bubbles and it's, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. And, and frankly, it's, I think it's pretty counterproductive and, and arguably even embarrassing when you look at the stark disadvantage that particularly remote Aboriginal communities are undergoing. I mean, the truth is there already is a vast inequality between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians, and we know that every year when they hand down the Closing the Gap report. In some cases, it's even getting worse, which is shameful. But it is overwhelmingly Indigenous people in remote communities who are suffering the worst of that disadvantage. And that is a legacy of our history, obviously, and that's a legacy of both intention, intended and mostly unintended consequences, things like disease and mm. alcoholism and things I had no resistance to. And so if you actually make it an argument about disadvantage instead of an argument about race, then... Indigenous people are going to overwhelmingly be the beneficiaries. And I have absolutely no problem whatsoever with having, say, interest-free loans to Indigenous um, families who can't afford their own uh, home or, indeed, where the idea of private home ownership is something that is very hard to establish in these but communities. But if that's and a they commercial get... institution that has to give them, the cost of that money is not free if it's the government. No, but, the, gov do. but the government is already putting billions and billions of dollars into housing, for example, and it's doing that via a number of mechanisms. But, again, I would 
would not have a problem with saying, just like we have with social housing, all right, well, for every 100 home loans that you give out, you have to give one to a disadvantaged Indigenous person who's showing that they would have the capacity to pay that back mm. and they can get a private home. So one of the really big problems in Indigenous communities is there's often very little concept of private ownership. So you build you know, a housing estate there and it becomes only as strong as the weakest link. It becomes only as strong as the person passing through who trashes it the most, whereas other people, you know, and, and again, with Indigenous people, you know, Indigenous artists who friends and family of mine have worked with, they can become very successful, but then you have humbugging and every single relative comes on payday and says, so they, they can't get ahead, they're trying to get ahead. So, if you so, help them, you're doing, you're do, that is that is the way to get ahead. Yeah. The problem is, if you say, well, Indigenous people aren't going to have to pay any land tax, who's going to benefit the most? Well, the Indigenous person who most owns the most valuable piece of property yeah. in Victoria, but, but whereas I, there are people who don't have houses or property or land at all, 